is the fabulous ensemble brought to you by and theater company and theater company for all your theater company needs in new york city i'm totally fooling around with their great people and wonderful people hey uh, uh you're gonna you're gonna see this is the ensemble we are the um uh, the resident acting company of and theater company. They're f wonderful human beings and also extraordinarily talented actors. Um, you can, you, there's a couple of things that you're going to find in the comments section of this, of this transmission of this transmission from Mars. A and you, you, here are the two things. Uh, Casting, if you see these amazing actors and you want to connect them into your project, well, just, just send us an email. Uh, the email is right in the comment section and we will hook that up. And also, if you if, if you go, wow, I really like this long form actors improv thing, professional actors improvising, uh, I, I want to send that company money well that link is there too we're always we're always doing a fundraiser so all right the business is out of the way let us get to the fun part and that would be the performers for this evening i want to say hello hello christine how are you doing it's christine niven and helica smith and helica how are you doing mike lawler's right there right over there nice taylor edwards Carrie Keskinen, <laughs> and I'm your host Scotty Watson. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a little something called a Laurent. It's a thing you'll catch on. It's just fun. You'll you'll, you'll like it. Uh, I want to say thank you to Judy Weatherby for your suggestion uh, of our location. The uh, Laurent is a has a bunch of scenes that are going to happen around one single location, and our single location is this is the first time the uh, actors have heard this. Our location is an antique and junk store. I guess one person's antique is another person's junk. Well, I don't know. Let's get started out. Let's <clears throat> kick this thing off in the antique slash junk store. And we're going to start with the actors, Taylor and Carrie, and the rest of us can <sighs> go away. And uh, Taylor and Carrie, uh, we are going to meet the characters that you create. Oh, Marge, I love this antique bird feeder. Lorraine, that would be perfect for you. Oh my gosh, all the sparrows would just love it. Just love it. I, I think they will. And, and the squirrel death thing, I, 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 that's just, it seems right up your alley there. You know, that little can't get in at squirrel detaching thing that's on there. Oh, the squirrels. The squirrels, they try to get into the bird feeders, but I grease the poles, so they slide down. Mine were jumping after I did that. You know what? Wow. I read that there's a suicide squirrel squad. They go along and they chew the wires, they spark the fires. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Well, they're intelligent animals. We don't we want just to. don't speak their language, right? It's so weird. Hmm. Do speak squirrel, Marge. I had no idea, Lorraine. Did, yes. Did you insult me or compliment me just then? Because I I really have no clue. Oh, I'm just messing with you. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. You got me. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I, mean, I got to keep you on your toes, you know, before you I, before you buy the whole store. I know how you are. I yes, it's true. I'm I'm I am Marge. again depression depression shopping. Oh my, yeah. God. it's gonna be okay. You're gonna get over him. I don't think I am this time. Oh I know my. this was the twelfth time taking him back, but oh I don't God. see myself getting over him at all. My oh. heart is broken, and I'm still in love. Tony, he's just trouble. Yeah. Oh, Marge. He is trouble. He's, but he's good looking. <sighs> he's good looking. And he he's really my is. kind of trouble. Well, oh my God, no, not again. Your heart is broken. 
and I'm in love. Yeah. Not again. Both. I'm, I'm having the broken heart and in love thing. And you know, this, I, I have to have this sparrow, you know, drinking a margarita statuette. Oh, it's only $250. Oh my God, that's so cute. Right? Oh I've my never God. seen a sparrow drink a margarita. Who knew that somebody's creativity would be so you He used to buy me margaritas. Oh my God, oh my God, Marge, I'm gonna have to swipe that from you. I want that. Okay, I take it. You, everybody takes it from me anyway. Oh, oh I'm Marge, I'm gonna buy it for you. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, Tony! Tony! Hey, Lorraine! Hey, Marge! Hi! Oh my gosh! Fancy seeing you in this antique and uh, junk store. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, uh, I've always wanted to uh, to look around. I've been here before, but I, I, yeah, I saw I saw Marge's car out in the parking lot, so I had to swing oh. in. Oh! oh. <laughs> well, Hi. how are you? Tony. Oh, well, good. It? It's, it's, uh, it's uh, great to see uh, both of you. And uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, you're looking real good there, Marge. You're looking, uh, and that, uh, that uh, I like the, uh, the margarita thing. That's, uh, that's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember the margaritas. Yeah, I remember those margaritas. And uh, Lorraine, I got to say, uh, a very nice, um, you know, ensemble there. oh my gosh tony oh, just stop uh, working up my tree oh my god it, 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 uh excuse me i'm i'm gonna go and and you know freshen up just a little bit yeah yeah uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, okay yeah. i'll catch up with you marge yeah well she's gone oh gosh uh, tony you're messing with her again oh what come on come on you know much much loves it she loves she's just she can't keep her hands off me. And you use that. You use that to, to just manipulate her. I do. You're just, a, you're just an old dog who needs new tricks. Ah, uh, Lorraine. <laughs> Lorraine. You need new tricks, Tony. Ah, uh, come on, Lorraine. You know, I'm just, I just, I'm just out to have some fun. I'm just a fun-loving, a fun-loving guy. Looks oh, so I know that all too well. And she doesn't know our history. So don't you be telling her. Look, Lorraine, you know, you know that 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 summer mm -hmm. you and I that was the best summer of my life. It was the best summer of my life too. Oh, gosh, Tony, I miss those days. But I know you. I knew you were trouble then, driving that convertible, that drinking was a that great convertible. 1960 Cadillac, 19. big fins. Drinking those Paps Blue Ribbon beers, thinking oh, you're all that. In the back seat at the drive-in, my arm oh, around my your God. shoulders. I <laughs> know that was. <laughs> stop it! Oh <laughs> God, stop it! <laughs> oh, you are just. Oh, stop! <laughs> I'm gonna have to throw some, one of these little trinkets at you, you bad little boy doggy face oh. 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 <laughs> stop. oh stop you know that that's my thing stop that no you're not gonna no you're not gonna seduce me right here in public well how about in private look why don't i what hmm. well the kids are gone this afternoon oh I could, uh, I could pick up a twelve pack of paps and uh, some oh, brats. Some brats. How about some cheese curds too? Cheese curds. Hey, Tony. Emily. Emily. It's Tony. Emily. <laughs> Tony, oh are you in the rain? Come on. You know better uh, than that. Oh, we're just we're just going back. You know, Lori we're just going. messing with each other. Oh my gosh, I just I got I this mug. I gotta buy. I know, but I got to tell Ma on you the next time you do this lo with Lorraine. You know, Ma likes well, Lorraine come better on, than Emily. Ma. I'm just here looking out for my big brother, you know? Okay, okay. Well, let me let you have a conversation. I'm going to buy these trinkets and this glass. And look, oh, she has great taste, Emily. For Marge. 
I might add. So I will see you all later. Er, 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 Tony, later. Uh, uh, uh. Tony. She's such a nice lady. You can't keep, be goofing around with her. You just can't. I'm not, I'm not goofing around. Emily, God, you just, you can't keep your, just, you know, what you, mind your own business for crying out loud. You're always telling me what to do. Of course I am. I'm your sister. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to keep you in line, and that's what I'm doing. You, 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 you know, I mean, you're, giving me, you're making me sweat just, just being around. Just, you're, oh, boy. Oh, now, just calm down. We're here. We're here to look at things. We need to get a gift for Ma, and I'm counting on you to open your pocket and buy something really, really <laughs> nice. Uh, th there, there's this beautiful, like lace uh, chiffon. Uh, it, it's a, it's a, uh, uh, an off-white, uh, uh, like a, like a, a, a cocktail thing. You know, she, you know, she likes it when she, with her, her teas and stuff. It's right over. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. I think. I don't know. I looked at it. Okay, but you think a cocktail dress for your mother is appropriate? Oh uh, yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I. I never had, I never had any, I never had any sense that way, you know? Well, I'm, I'm thinking a nice little statue or, or a vase or like maybe, maybe a ceramic tractor, you know? That's, that's amazing. A ceramic tractor yeah. with, that we could, uh, Oh God, we could accessorize it for, you know, for the no. we could put holiday lights on it and things like that. First, we have to find it, but that's the idea I'm going with, you know? Ceramic truck. Yeah, yeah. Truck, that would do. That would do. Uh, uh, put your uh, thinking cap on. Come on. Look, look around. See okay. what we can find. There's a, there's a, there's an old rusted bucket over there. That, that, I mean, that's, that, that'd be fun, you know? Uh, it's an idea. Yeah. Wait. It's what I don't know, am I just I you know I I'd be lost without you, Emily. That's all that's what I want to say. I mean, you know, I I I my brain doesn't work the way I want it to with, with family and mom and, and you you're really good at it. I, I know, I know. It's it's okay. I, I accept the responsibility for your happiness. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, well, and you do make me happy. You know that, Emily. Even though we fight all the time, you make me happy. Of course I do. That's my job. Oh, hi. Hey. Hi, Barry. It's nice to see you in here. Hey. Hello, Hello Emily. Tony. Hey. How are you? How are you, Barry? Oh, you know, I've been better. But if you're looking for rusted things, they're over out back. Oh, my. Oh. Tony, what did you do? What did, well, what didn't you do? I can guess. Oh, that oh Barry, I'm so good. sorry for whatever, whatever. Tony, Tony. Look, look, I, I, all right. Lorraine I, I, is my sister and Marge is my friend. You are just, you're going around too much with all these girls. I just, Come on, it's just, it, I, it's just Florida's just having fun. There's nothing to do in this town. I'm having a little fun. Come on, give me some black. Tony, Tony, I think you need to go in the corner and think about what you've done. I agree. All right, all right. Mary, I'll see you. Emily, I'll see you. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for, for I mean, he gets a little out of hand, but he really oh, has yeah. a good heart. No, but he has a good heart. I don't know. Marge is in love with him, and he's just flirting around with everyone. Well, that can be problematic because he's not ready to settle down. Well, that's obvious. Well, Maybe he'll find some rusted stuff out back and who knows what. I'm... I'm not sure that you have the purest of intentions here. I mean, rusted items. I'm not sure that's purest of intentions. 
Yeah. I'm looking out for my friend and for my sister. Yes. Yes, I know you are. But as I've told you, Tony has a very good heart. Okay. So you got to give him a little. I mean, I mean, he's a man. What do you want from him? Well, you have a point. Of course I do. I've, I've known him longer than anybody else here. You know, I have just known him and I know he has a good heart. His intentions are sometimes a little off balance, but we, I mean, he's a man. He's doing the best he can with what God gave him. You know what I mean? Well, okay. I'll give him a chance. Thank you. I know. <laughs> well, you're a really thinking, good person. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of having a little party and that's why I'm here today. Cause I wanted to get like a, one of those old crystal punch bowls. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And, and, and cranberry apple punch. It's my favorite. Perfect. Yeah. Will you come yeah. tonight? Will you bring that? I would love to. That would be so awesome. awesome. It's going to be a potluck. So everyone's bringing a little something. Oh, sure. And I'll have Tony bring the chips and dips. <sighs> okay. Tony can come and he can bring the chips and dip. Well, of course you were going to invite him. Sure. Hi, Mary. Hi, Marge. I, I, Hi, Marge. I, I was freshening up for, for, for Tony. I don't, I don't see him. Oh, he's gone. He's taking care of business. Okay. You know, Marge, um, Tony has, has really got a lot on his mind these days. So it'd be really good if you just kind of gave him a little space, you know, a little space. Yeah. Okay. I'll give him space. You're a good woman. I knew you'd understand. Well, I, I've got to go get some cranberry apple punch, and I will see you later. I'll see you tonight, Emily. Thank you so much. Bye, Emily. Marge, I'm so sorry. I don't know. Uh, talking about space, how are you going to get space from him? He's coming to my party tonight. You said you weren't inviting him. I wasn't, but I was bamboozled. I, I, you know, Emily can be a little pushy and mean to me. So um, I, I think that, you know, that, that warning of, you know, he needs space is, is really her way of saying, fuck with him and you're going to get hurt. And I don't want to be at your party because of it. I'm scared. Well, I'm not going to go. Oh, Marge, you have to go. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go, I can't Mary. do this, this party without hard. you. I need my best friend. Oh, Marge. Come on. He can't have all the fun. You got to get your mojo back. Yeah, I do. Damn but, straight. you know, it's like my broken heart is still in love with him. And now Emily is, you know, being all, you know, sub, you know, liminally threatening to me. And, and you know, it scares me. And, and Mary, plan. it's your house. Marge, and you listen to me. We need a plan. Okay. You're going to get him back. Okay. You're scaring me now. It's going to be great. Okay. If you want him back. I don't know, because everybody says move on from him. I was talking to Lorraine. I think Lorraine likes him and wants her for herself. I don't want to, you know, start rumors or anything, but I kind of got the feeling when Tony came in earlier that, that he wanted to, you know, be with her, and she was, oh, you know, go away, kind of very quickly. And, and you know. I don't know if they're going to get back together. That was Back together? Back together? What? Uh oh. Of course. Yeah. Sure. Does that makes uh -huh. sense. It makes sense. Marge. It makes sense. I, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everyone in town. You know what? This town's very small. I think not only should I not go to your party, but I should maybe think about moving. 
No, Marge, it's ancient history. I'm, I'm apparently not that ancient. <sighs> Mary, you are my best, 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 best friend. And, and I'm really hurt that you're letting him come to the party and, and that you got bamboozled. And I get it. And, and it feels like, you know, you chose him and Emily over me. Oh, uh, Marge, you gotta come. I can't survive this party without you. I don't think you understand the meaning of bamboozle. I understand the meaning because that's how I feel right now. You invite people that are actively hostile toward me, and now you say I must come to your party. That's bamboozled. Oh. That's bamboozled. And would my bestest, best, best friend do that to me? I don't think she would. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, I'm gonna Marianne, go. I'm, I'm closing down the, yeah. I'm closing down the store. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Bye. All right. Well, Marge, I'll see you later. God. That's our Larod. Come on back, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Marge. Don't bamboozle Marge. Come on. Come on. Be on Marge's side. Tony's a sleaze ball. <laughs> and I mean that as a compliment. Hey, speaking of Tony's a sleaze ball, uh, Mike Lawler was Tony, and uh, Ta Taylor Edwards was Marge, and Helica Smith was Mary, Christine Niven was Emily, and Carrie Keskinen was Lorraine. And I'm your host, Scotty Watson. Hey, these are amazing actors. You want to use them? Send us an email. We'll hook you up with them. Uh, if you're a creep, we won't. See, that's where we're kind of in between. <laughs> if, it's, if it's something weird, no. But if it's something good, yes. And hey, if you want to support uh, And Theater Company, who is our sponsor, we're the ensemble. We are, are we're, we're their in-house acting company. Uh, there's a link. So send them five bucks. What the hell? It's theater. It's New York. Either give us five bucks and we'll come and take it from you. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you next week. <laughs>